Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's your boy Ty Skids here and today we're back with another car extra racing online video. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume down just a little bit so you guys can hear me though. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Lower this down too. Okay, we're good. So in today's video, we have the Cobra. Now this is a car that's been broken for a very long time. It's been untunable. The transmission was weird. But now the car is actually fixed and today I'm going to be showing you guys my 110 adhesion tune for this car. So drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and, uh, you know, share the video if you guys do enjoy this. I just want to say also thank you guys for 36,000 subscribers. We just hit 35K like I think a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. And to be at 36K already is honestly amazing. Uh, still on the road to 50K. We're almost there. But like I said, man, let's get into it. So. If you don't know where this car is, man, it's a class five car. What you want to do is come down here and it's the fourth car. You just want to grab this car, go to the mods, equip the ultimate mod on the vehicle. And then once you have that done, you can go ahead and uh, put put the rims and tires you want on the car. I was going to say body kit, but there's really no body kits for this car. So the only other kit they have is the police car kit. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to be a police uh, officer or whatever on car X and drift around, you can do that now. Um, but the kit I'm using is just the stock body. Cause you know, I got a, I got a, a, a vinyl on here. So now I was thinking about making a livery tutorial for this car, but that shit was like almost an hour long because of how long it took me to get to the final product. So maybe I'll try to make like a new livery for this car. But, uh, as you guys can see, this is pretty complex. So, but other than that, man, let's go ahead and hop into the dyno stand. So for the suspension. Your front spring length is going to be 8, rear spring length that's 7, front spring stiffness 120, rear spring stiffness 115, front and rear damper fast pump at 3,250, rear, uh, front and rear damper fast rebound at 2,500, front and rear damper bump at 3,750. Okay, your front and rear damper rebound are going to be at 2K, front toe 0 0.40, rear toe 0, uh, negative 0 0.20, front camera negative 4.94, rear camera negative 2.80, front and rear into roll bar at 40, caster at 10, acrimon angle at 27%. Hold on one second, wait, it looks like it's, okay, wait. Okay, I thought the build was glitched out for a second, but it's fine. Uh, <clears throat> caster at 10 acrim angle at 27 percent max steering angle at 60 degrees for the wheels your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 20 front and rear tire width 285 front tire pressure 173 rear tire pressure 183 front and rear wheel adhesion 110 front and rear uh track or wheelbase whatever you want to call it uh at four i don't know why they just don't call it front wheel track and rear wheel track i don't know uh front and rear tire profile 25 percent for the engine turn everything all the way up to max this car has 1,044 horsepower. It's pretty quick. 700 pounds of torque. Yes, sir. Uh, for the transmission, your diff lock ratio is going to be 1.00. Bottom drive is going to be 3.90. Gear 1 is going to be 3.40. Gear 2 is going to be 1.38. Gear 3 is going to be 1.18. Gear 4 is going to be 1.10. Gear 5 is going to be 1.04. And gear 6 is going to be 1.00. But wait, we're not done. There's two more gears. Yes, this car has eight gears, bro. Like, holy shit. Gear 7, 0 0.98, and gear 8, 0 0.97. And then, yeah, that's the gearing. So for the last video, I showed you guys the Thunder Strike. You guys said I didn't show the brakes. The brake torque is always 3,500 for the, you know, for that. And then for the brake bias, it's always 70% on all my cars. That's how I run them. But enough talking. Now let's get to drifting. So let's go to single player, go to training. Um, I'm going to do some daytime on Cami. I was going to do nighttime, but... I think daytime would be better so we're gonna do a run on cami let's see if we can get 100k points let me just see if i can get 100k let's see if we can do it man so this car has like a really low chassis so unless you want to like raise the car up like pretty high then uh you're gonna be scraping here and there which is fine but i'm just letting you guys know the chassis on this car is weird so like when I go in free cam and look under the car, like nothing's even close to touching the ground. But when I'm drifting, it's just like scraping across the floor for some reason. And my spring stiffness is pretty high too. I don't know if the car is just like that heavy, but I don't know. It just, I mean, it gets sideways. Shit. I mean, it might scrape a little bit, but when we get to the end of the video, I'll show you guys another car so you guys can see what I mean. But 
Yeah. I'm going to try to get 100k points. I need to start doing some reverse entries. Get my points up real quick. See if I can do one right here. Uh, that was slight. That was slight. I can do better. I can do better. Hold on. Sheesh. 6,000 DP. Let's go. We're at 30k right now. I need to hit one right here too. Oh, it's only 750. Come on, bro. Only a 750. I need 6,000 DPs all the way around. All right, I'm going to try to hit one right here. Come on, come on, come on. Sheesh. Okay, yeah, it hits pretty clean reverse entry, so pretty sure it hits clean 360s too. Like, no cap. Oh, no, I messed up. Come on, keep the points, keep the points. No, I lost my points, bro. I literally... I literally messed up. I was trying to like go for a reverse entry, but I was in the wrong gear. Okay, I, I still gotta try. I still gotta try. We still gotta try to get 100k. We're almost at the end of the track, but I'm still gonna go for it. Oh, this is not helping. 450 DPS. Come on. No, I'm not gonna. Okay, you know what? You know what? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I can do it. I'm not used to this car. I've never driven this car. Like, this is literally the first day I've ever, you know, driven this car. So, trying to figure out how to throw the weight around is pretty weird. So, I guess we're not going to be able to get 100k points. So, I'll just go ahead and throw some uh, some smooth lines for the rest of the video. I'm definitely not getting 100k, bro. We got 60k right now. I might get 70k at most, but... I tried my best. I tried my best. All right, so as you guys can see, man, it holds some pretty clean lines. Thank you guys for watching this video. This has been your boy, Ty Skids, playing Car Extra Racing Online. And today I showed you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Cobra. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, like I said. And if you did, share this video. Uh, drop a like and comment below what car you guys want to see me do next. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, those 360s were rough. They were rough. I know, I know, I know. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Alright, next time guys. I'll see you next time.